welcome to just vibe vibes welcome let's talk about love violence in that episode <laughs> okay firstly before i say anything i like jess like really really like jess and at this point i have liked jess for a long time now but at this point i actually do not care if i and jess get to the final like i like jess a one person in a couple is strong should be strong enough to get the other person to the final because let's be honest mimi has carried a lot of people she's carried ayo to where he was at and then she's carried josh to where josh is now now josh is pulling his own weight because ayo was like a dead weight but josh is pulling his own weight now he's pulling his own weight making their couple because at this point if josh was not pulling his own weight then she she will still pull on her own because honestly people really love the girl but josh is pulling his own weight so he's making their couple like you know what i mean seem better like you know what i mean they're good together you can see that he really likes her like i feel like he's actually in love with her but he just doesn't want to say it yet that's why i think okay so that's it so i like jess and i think jess is enough to get them to the final i think so i feel like they should come out third. why not they should come out third. but then now i'm gonna say this i'm gonna go to the end now i see why the budget was low remember i was like what is happening with the dates the budget was so cheap what is happening now i see why they had to bring all the islanders back that's what happened they did that for us stars though but i guess this time they're like now we're not going to spend money on the dates. we're going to use that money to bring them back just to make one decision now i feel like the producers did that because you know yesterday we're doing this whole voting on the they said votes they sent a message on the app saying to vote and i was shocked because they didn't send a message for us for me to vote for the uh, ranking of the couples so i'm like why are they asking to vote so i tried to check votes yesterday it wasn't vote so it was just the this thing to choose which of the couple you know the date is more romantic or something and when i did it i noticed that it was joey and uh, jesse that was at the bottom and then shona matilda that was at the second uh, like you know the fourth position was shona matilda and then later i give it some time and i try with my other phone it was same thing and then i try my other phone i have three phones to try with around the house and it was the same thing so i'm like okay so i feel like joey and jesse would be going so i was thinking today maybe at the end of the day they're gonna say joey and jesse you're not done from the villa nope i think they did not want that to happen because it's not going the way they want it to be now they're bringing the islanders to come and make decision now now i don't know who they're gonna pick i'm actually kind of worried that they're gonna pick jess and ayo because most of them never met jess that's what i'm thinking i feel like they anyway some of them also never met jesse so we'll see how it goes i do feel like the right decision is joey and jesse no other person is the right decision now let me go to the whole uh show joey bringing the flowers to apologize to mimi actually saying i'm sorry at the end of the day was really really good but you can see producers written all over it like the producers asked him to do that like he did not think oh like where did he get the flowers from he didn't buy flowers when they went out so where did he get the flowers from producers got the flowers for him told him to apologize to her because they can see the way the public are on him i said this on um one of my twitter because i do have different twitters <laughs> anyway i did say that i feel like the producer i think that's my main twitter that i said that my main personal one not the just vibey vibes one i did say that the producers are giving uh they promised joey to protect his image because as big as he has been you know he's been on itv for a long time he's not just going to come on this show where he knows that he doesn't know what is going to happen he's not going to do that so they have given him uh this like oh we're going to protect your image so that they're working extra hard my guy is making it so difficult for them so that's why they got him the flowers to apologize of course mimi is going to accept it who would not accept someone apologizing with the flower that's beautiful of course she accepted it jess was me jess was like huh jess is a spectator that's why i love her like honestly i love jess i can't lie i love jess i feel like if jess and matilda can couple up then they can just you know gladly be third position like i would love both of them together i do like matilda i feel like matilda is faking it but i'm thinking if i was in that position what would i do fake it yep i'll fake it why would i not fake it like i don't understand you need to be there long like if the love thing is not working my darling <laughs> if the love thing were good for you I'm glad it's working, but if the love thing is not working, my darling, fake it. Get to that finance, get more followers, fake it more for him. Let's say a bit about six months. You don't have to do anything with him. Just you know, that's why when he said 
uh, I love you. My guy is saying, I think we're heading to that direction. My guy is saying, I love you. My guy is saying that they're heading to the direction. Like, how is someone telling you, I love you and you, you're heading? Like, you say, we are heading. She didn't say, I am more. She said, we are. And you see when she's talking to the guest, like, oh, I've never felt this way before. Oh, blah, blah, blah. That's why um, uh, maybe, I don't know, Josh think that he's close to Sean. Because he's saying that uh, uh, Mimi is voting Joey and Jesse and he's voting uh, Ayo and Jess. I feel like Sean and Matilda would have been good, but it doesn't matter whichever way. Uh, one vote will put you in there. So whatever way they voted, what has happened would have been what happened. And people are saying that Sean is, was racist. I saw it on Twitter for choosing um, um, the two black couples. I don't think so. He is so close to Joey. I'm so shocked. That Joey actually chose Sean. If I was Joey, I would not choose Sean and Matilda. Nah, I would choose Mimi and Josh and Jess and Ayo. That's what I would choose. I would not choose people that I am close with my closest power. Why would I choose my closest power? I'm sorry. And now it's Love Island, but it's also Friend Island. I'm sorry. Why? Why is it that when they do the voting and they say the islands I should choose, why they always fight for their friends to be there? And I feel like at the end of the day, the girls got the decision of it all. So I do think that, yeah. Um, for me, based on how I would have voted, it was Jess and Ayo that made the right decision. And that was on Jess' shoulder because she was the one that chose it. And I'm so proud of my girl. She did that like she should. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say this. In the game, obviously, <laughs> the game was okay, right? Because uh, Josh forgot that he's not into Mimi. Everybody was saying that, that on Twitter. But that's the truth. My guy went to go and save his girl. Like, I'm not letting my girl drive. My girl is like, oh, people might think that I care about my eyelashes more because my eyelashes were lost for a girl. He care about your eyelashes more. Because at the point where you lost for your team, you're thinking about, oh, people might think your eyelashes is because you're thinking your eyelashes, girl. Seriously. Now you wonder why they chose you last. I wouldn't even choose you to be on my team at all. Because are you kidding me? You're a deadweight at this point. Though. Like when it comes to sports, you are a deadweight. I see why. They see the way you just walk so gentle like this. They're like, nah, I'm not going to put this girl on my team because she's not going to help her in any shape or form. And that's exactly what happened. <laughs> anyway, blue team won. And then um, Jess is saying that, oh, your boyfriend cheats. I do think that she didn't even see that as that because she was thinking of the game. No, in the game, he cheated. And that's why um the whole stuff i think that's what she that's what she thought but then kiran gave it back to her as kiran should because why would you know in the game when someone talks back at you you talk back at them in sports so uh, he, she's saying oh they took it personal blah blah nah you were just he was, he was just giving it back to you because all he had was your boyfriend cheats and so he had to give it back to you i don't even think he even even took the time to even digest what you were saying so that was it honestly and then Joey saying that oh Kiran any position he was in Kiran was trying to be in that position. Of course, when you are when you are in sports, if you think you're the best person in your team, because I felt like Kiran really carried the blue team a lot. He did very very well. He's very competitive. If I feel like I'm the one carrying the team, then there is somebody else that is carrying the other team. I want to compete with that person that's carrying the other team because if I win that person, that's one mark for us. Then the other people can work with the other people that are not that strong. So I do see as a sportsman why Kieran was changing positions so that he can compete with Joey. Joey thinking that, oh, he's competing with him in life. No, it's just a game. He's just competing with you in the game. I know in your head you think that Kieran is competing with you in life. No, he doesn't see you as a threat that much. You're not even a threat on the Love Island shit. Producers are working extra hard and the ITV executive to keep you sweet. But trust me, you're not a competition to Kieran in any shape or form when it comes to Love Island. And for someone that doesn't want them to see him as Joey Essex, you want to be seen as just, you know, the guy that you are now. You are acting like you want to be seen as Joey Essex at this point. Because that's what it's given. Guys, I had to work hard today. Literally, I was watching Love Island while I was on the train because I went out. And then I was like, okay, let me get back. Let me get back. Let me see if I can watch the beginning. Nah. The network was horrible on the ground. Like, horrible. So I had to watch Plus One. And I'm just reviewing it this late. So I don't know when you're going to get it. Maybe 12 midnight. But that's that. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you on Sunday night. Bye-bye.